Americans love their pets, with U.S. households owning more cats and dogs than ever before. But there's a shortage of vets. One estimate from Mars Vet Health says the number of vets will need to increase by nearly 40 percent in five years to meet demand. Oh, what a good boy. <laughs> to help address the growing shortage, startup Roo is taking an entirely new approach to vet staffing. Its AI-powered marketplace fills vet shifts, connecting animal hospitals with freelance vet workers, a departure from the traditional model of vets working for a single hospital. Every shift that is matched between a veterinarian and a hospital is done so using AI with a price that's set by AI to both maximize the earnings that veterinarians can make on our platform and also maximize the amount of shifts that we're ultimately covering. Dr. Colleen Lambeau uses Roo along with other AI tools to make her far more efficient and accurate. I've only been using them a couple of months actually, but it, it's been life changing couple of months. One of those other AI tools called Covet is like an AI co-pilot, recording and transcribing appointments, then automating admin work, such as inputting records. Dr. Lambeau even uses a stethoscope that uses AI to improve the accuracy of readings. I can tell you that I haven't stayed late at a clinic since starting to use my AI software. Um, historically, I was staying maybe an hour to an hour and a half after. AI is also transforming vet diagnostics. Veterinary professionals and data scientists teamed up to launch RapidRead, which uses AI to improve imaging. It's part of Mars' pet care business and in partnership with Microsoft. Deploying AI so x-rays and ultrasounds can be read in minutes instead of hours or days. But as with most industries, AI could pose a threat to jobs and also the human touch. One of the concerns is if we have practices that are using it to see a volume that is extreme, where you're not even spending two minutes with any particular individual. I think that would be detrimental to our industry.